Hi everyone, it's Intang Mayumi. I have light up card tutorial for you today, so let's jump right in. The stamp set I used for today's card is Stampendous Original Christmas Tree Cling Stamp. I have this stamp set for a few years now, and I don't know if this is still available, but if I find it online, I will link it in my description box below. I use my Misty so I can stamp my image a few times if I need to. And the ink I'm using is Versafine Onyx Black ink. This ink is good for watercolors. As always, I use my Zig markers to color the image. And later on, I'm also going to use my Daniel Smith watercolors to color the background. I'll let you watch the coloring part and I will be back when it's done. After I color the whole panel, I'm going to dry it with my heat tool. As you can see, the ornaments are not colored because I'm going to use uh, stickles on them later on. After the panel is dry, I will add lines on the bottom. I want the bottom to have wood floor. I'm using my T ruler to get a straight line. And I'm using Micron Pen, and I think this one is the Black Zero 3 Pen. And then I added some stickles on the ornaments. I have some stickles in my stash, and I use the colors that I have. I set this aside to dry, and then uh, did some house chairs, and then when I came back, I continued finishing the card. And now that our panel is dry and ready, I pull out my stitch rectangle die from Gina Marie Designs and die cut the panel. I will secure the die with washi tape so it doesn't move when I run it through my die cutting machine. I also die cut another panel and that panel we're going to use that for our circuit. I will cut the inside of the star and that is where we're going to place the light. And then I use my memento marker to color the white edges inside the star so it looks seamless. I'm going to trace the inside of the star on the white panel and I will also figure out where I want my battery to go. 
and I'm just using my pencil here to trace the star. Then I tried to match the two panels together and then I'm going to mark uh, the inside and that's where we're going to put our battery. Now I want to have a battery holder so the recipient can change the battery when it runs out. And as long as the circuit inside is good and the light is good, then they can press the light as long as they want and when the battery runs out, they can easily change it. I cut the strip of paper to 1 inches by 6 and 3 fourths inches and then we are going to score at 1 and 1 fourth, 2 and a half, 3 and 3 fourths, and 5 and 1 fourth inches. This battery holder is not my original idea. I got the measurements from Ju Yun Li. I don't know if that's how you pronounce her name. She is on Instagram and I will leave a link of her Instagram account in my description box below. Now that we have our score lines, we are going to fold it mountain valley fold. And I'm just using my bone fo folder here to crease the sides. I will die cut the sections on our paper with the smallest die from my stitch circle die set. This size is perfect size for the battery holder. I actually lose this uh, circle die so I ordered new one on Amazon. I just eyeball the holes on the paper and what I did is I used the circle die to match the cutout circle and then secure the die with washi tape so it doesn't move when I run it through my sidekick machine. After I die cut the holes on the paper, I will adhere them together with gauzy accents. And now I'm going to cut 1 inches by 2 inches paper that that one is going to be part of our circuit. And then I'm going to fold it in half and use my bone folder to crease the side. I use the battery holder to guide me where to adhere the paper and that will be the part of our circuit. And then I will write positive on the, on the flap and negative in the inside. You can also do positive in the inside and negative on the flap. Either way will work. And then I also draw my two lines going to the light. This circuit is so easy this time because the lines are all straight and I'm just using one LED light. Now that we have our lines on our panel, we can adhere our copper foil tape. I always cut my copper foil tape in half because the ones I have is 1 fourth inches wide and I don't need that thickness and I get more out of my copper foil tape. I use my bone folder to help me fold the lines and I just uh, following the pencil lines that we write earlier. I have different colors of lights. I will use the white LED light on this card and this uh, LED lights are Chibitronics. Before I add the light, I will write positive and negative on the side. You don't have to do that, but I want to know where my positive and negative when I add my light, so you're not guessing. And then I will crease the copper foil tape using my bone folder. Then we'll go ahead and add our battery and our LED light. 
And here I'm trying it out to see if the light match up the star on the panel. And now we can add our foam tape. I again use the battery holder to guide me and to know exactly where to add the foam tape on the sides of the battery holder. I want to be able to slide the battery in and out with no problem. I double up my foam tape too and I always use 3M foam tape because I don't want my card falling apart later and I want the recipient to enjoy it as long as they want. I'm going to add a pull on the battery holder so they know that that one, the battery holder, they can pull it and change the battery. And I use MFT interactive labels uh, for that. And then we'll go ahead and remove the release paper from the foam tape and we'll add our uh, panel. I realized that I forgot to add the vellum on the back of the star so I'm just doing some card surgery here and lifting up the uh, upper part of the uh, panel and then we'll add the vellum in the middle where the star is and then I will add glossy accents to adhere it again. For the sentiment, I will watercolor a strips of watercolor paper. These are scraps of watercolor paper that I save when I cut them into A2 size panels. I will color two strips here with pyrrole red and sap green and I will figure out later which one I want to use on my card. After I add the colors, I will dry them with my heat tool. The sentiment I'm using is Holiday Cheer Stamp Set from Hero Arts. I'm going to stamp the uh, Merry Christmas sentiment with Versafine Onyx Black Ink on both of the strip that we painted. And then I'm going to emboss them with clear embossing powder and then melt the powder with my heat tool. And then I'm going to cut the sentiments with my Fiskars trimmer. And then I'm deciding which uh, sentiment I want on my card, so I decided to use the green sentiment. I also die cut a stitch circle from the scraps that I have. I add the sentiment on the card. I'm going to distress the edges with Modlon Distress Oxide Ink. Then we'll go ahead and um, stamp, press here on the stitch circle that we die cut earlier. And I'm using my favorite things interactive labels stamp set. Now that everything is ready, I'm going to add a strong double-sided tape on the back of this panel and then we'll go ahead and adhere this on our A2 size stop folding uh, card base. And my card base is Paper Tree Ink pa uh, Pure Poppy Cardstock. And then we'll adhere our sentiment on the lower part of the card and the stitch circle on the right side using glossy accents. I colored the battery holder with cobalt blue zig marker and I think it looks better than just plain white.
For the inside of the card, I die cut another panel and I stamped the sentiment from Paper Tree Ink Holiday Stamp Set with Hero Arts Red Reactive Ink. I add a dry adhesive on the back of this panel and then we'll go ahead and adhere this in the inside of our card. And then lastly, I add a shimmer on the presents, the bicycle, and the star using my Spectrum North Sparkle Pen. And my Christmas card is finished. I always enjoy making light up cards. I think it's my favorite interactive card. I hope the voiceover is clear and easy to understand. And I hope you like today's card and get inspired. As always, thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next one. Bye-bye. I have two more light-up cards that you might like to watch on the side of the screen.